Except the government's policy of vaccine mandates is causing significant division and disruption. And if so, is she open to alternatives? Mr Speaker, I think it's worth um, uh, canvassing briefly where we have applied mandates because we have been judicious in their use. Uh, obviously, uh, as Delta hit us, we wanted to make sure that anyone who was vulnerable, who was accessing health services, could be assured that, for instance, they wouldn't risk um, being exposed to an unvaccinated worker. In education, parents were rightly raising concerns that at that time their children were unable to be vaccinated and the uh, desire for that uh, education workforce to be vaccinated. Likewise, the police expressly asked we consider a mandate that applied to them and the Defence Force of of course, to ensure that when they are in the likes of Tonga, that they don't represent uh, an added danger. Mr Speaker, otherwise, many of the mandates I've heard raised by uh, those externally who take issue with them are often referencing a decision made by an employer, a private employer, rather than a government mandate. But to finally round out, Mr Speaker, every time we've made that decision, it has been very carefully considered, and we've done it to protect New Zealanders. I imagine that we, had we not taken steps to look after New Zealanders' health, we would not only have those raising those concerns possibly in a public way, but we would have a death count that mirrored it as well. Supplementary. Would she consider a vaccinate or test rule, as applies to people flying domestically on Air New Zealand, to replace the vaccine-only requirement, or allowing businesses to set their own rules on their own property, as suggested by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment? Mr Speaker, I'm not quite clear on whether or not the member is referring to it in situations where employees are covered by a mandate um, which is in, uh, put in place by their employer or whether the member is speaking to vaccine passes. I'll um, defer to the former. Uh, there I would again reiterate that where um, many workplaces have put in place mandates, it has been at their discretion and their decision. I'd be surprised if the member was advocating that we expressly remove the right of a private enterprise to undertake a policy that essentially would be their own decision, not one for government. Supplementary. If a test to work rule is okay for workers in critical industries, why can it not be used by other workers? I would point out, Mr Speaker, that the um, test to work regime that allows you to uh, uh, not be the subject of our usual isolation requirements only apply to vaccinated workers. Mr Speaker, the other point that I'd really like to take the opportunity to make, firstly, there have been a number of countries, I'll, ma I'll make an assumption that the member might be talking now about vaccine passes, but uh, excuse me if I've misinterpreted the question. There were countries that originally did use either a vaccine pass um, or someone showing that they had been tested within the previous 72 hours. Most of the countries that did that dropped the testing element, demonstrating that it wasn't working from a policy perspective, and we had that insight when we made our own decisions. Instead, we created a COVID protection framework that for the most part, for the most part, does give businesses the opportunity to operate differently should they not wish to use vaccine passes. 